Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn about how to uh, use format conditional formatting on OpenOffice to make uh, sell your cell uh, change certain attribute. For instance, uh, change its background color, or you can also uh, define the action as to change the font size or anything you can make. So. In this section, in this video, we will divide into two sections. We will test using text data and we will conditional formatting the number data. So, for instance, we will text, uh, uh, we will test on the test data, text data. For instance, you, you want, this is the data, you want to, uh, you want to change color of uh, C. C which uh, cell contains C, it will change color, background color. So, for instance, we will net notes, and this is where you want to will C or D or any E or F. Chris. That's it. And you need to block this first, and then click format, and then click condition formatting, and then on the cell value is two cell value, which is equal to, and in this this build just this b1 b2 and then click new style and then you can change uh, format number and font font fx uh, alignment borders and in this uh, video we will try background change background we will change to blue uh, blue one blue two okay, blue one and click ok and you can also give name, for instance, we will give name uh, change to blue on the organizer tab and click on the background tab, click on blue, blue one, color, click the color that you like and then click OK. So now click OK. So now if we fill this B1 as the target cell SC. It will, uh, it will mark or it will uh, change the background color of every cell that contains C. And if we say if we change this to G, it will change to D. So it will mark the D cells. And you can also so you can also change to any properties. Uh, or attributes for instance we will, first we will click on right click on the data and click default formatting again so we will remove the formatting so click format again and click uh, conditional formatting again on the equal to click the target cell so for instance this is as the condition and click on new style we want to change and click on the name change to things bigger bigger font so click on the font and click on the uh, font size that you want to mark so that you want to change for instance for 40 or maybe 22 so click ok and then click ok again so you, you see that if you cell that contains D as this target value contain or uh, will change the font, uh, font size so if we change to E we will change to E we will mark all the E and we need to we need to readjust the cell ok and if you want to change to change the background you can also do you can also do this but you need to click right click on then click and left click the default formatting again and to make the data go back to the default formatting now block the data and click format and then click conditional formatting again and you can say this are good new style and change uh, box change border Okay, click on borders and you can, uh, you can give style like this one and to it is this one and then 
color is orange for instance and then click ok then click ok again and now try to sorry uh, let's try this one more time we need to target this and click new style and click uh since board borders click and click this borders and click this type style and click colors yes orange then click ok then click ok see now it's uh the the condition formatting is already working it, it mark all the g g cells so based on this uh, uh, value of the cell, you want to change to A, then change to A. Okay, so go, we will go, try to number data. And this is the data I get from random function between, random between function between 0 and 9. And first we need to block the data again. And click on the format and click on the conditional formatting and then for instance we want to first we will try equal to equal to and then we try the less than and greater than and then uh, so on and so on uh, for instance we will try equal to less than and greater than in this uh, uh, video so equal to we will try to equal to click on the target uh, condition value condition uh, variable auto value cells and then click new style and then just like that uh, let's say so so we give name jh background big, big background jh background like that and click background and click another color for instance red for instance red and click ok and then click so you will change every we will mark to wrap every cells that contain this value yeah, that is two. If you want to change to nine, you will mark all the value to nine. And we, now we will try the uh with greater than so first click on the now block the data or data then click default formatting and then click left click on the format and then click conditional formatting and then now you can try less let's try less than less than the, and then click the target uh, condition and then click uh, now let's choose cell style we will try change background cell background that we, that we just made and then we use the previously we previously made uh, style, style style and click uh, OK and you can see that if uh, it will mark every number that is uh, lower than lower than uh, the 9 uh, if you change to J it will mark every number of cells that have value or lower than less than or less than 3 and let's try one more example we say that we click default the formatting again and click format again and then click condition formatting again and then we this time we will try greater than and then click the, the condition target and then click on cell style that we then go to the change uh, borders that we just made before and you click ok and it will mark all the data cells that have greater value than 3 and if we change to 9 it will mark every uh, there is no greater than 9 because the random is between the, the, the random function random between function is generating from 0 the random number from 0 to 9 so 9 is the biggest there is no there is no, there is no number that bigger than nine. So if we try to eight it, it will generate nothing. And if we try two, it will 
mark everything that is greater than 2 that is for instance 9 and 3 you see that you see that one is not uh, um, highlighted or two is not highlighted okay so thank you for watching how this video is useful for you don't forget to like subscribe or comment down below thank you